all right it's all back together everything is on it now the clutch is working very well uh, let me show you bring it in close I ended up cutting up the original bracket uh, the clutch setup that attached to the original engine because when I was looking around for pulleys and brackets and I found this setup in my parts pile which is another complete clutch setup for one of these tractors uh, with the original engine and this one that I had sitting around has every single piece and it's in fantastic condition there's hardly any wear you couldn't see that could you right there so I decided to chop up the one that came with this tractor and make it work with this engine so what I did was I separated the two halves let me grab this other half and show you I took this half off of it it used to pivot on there and there was a pin in there uh, the pin was welded to the bracket that's on the engine now so I had to grind that off grind the welds off grind that nice and flat uh, then what I did was I attached it to the threaded rod and added the idle of pulley in the back. Gave it some holes for the linkage and just adjusted it all up so that it's working very well. Watch, I'll show you. So when I push the pedal fully, the belt hits on that stop pin on the top there and the pin on the clutch unit hits the belt. So it brings the belt to a stop so that the transmission isn't spinning anymore and the belt will just slip on the engine. So that was the clutch setup. The clutch is all done now and I think that will work fine. And that rear pulley is bent up a little bit. I'm blinding you with that light back there. I've got a light inside the frame rail. It's bent up a little bit but the few times I ran this on carb cleaner the belt stayed on so I'm hoping. All right, let me bring you around and show you some of the other stuff. Before we go around the other side, I just wanted to show you. I put an extension pipe on that muffler. I know it's going inside the pipe. It's supposed to be on the outside, but that was the closest I could come up with for a pipe that would fit, fit in or over. It fits really snug, too. So I forced that into the pipe and then put that set screw. I cut a slash cut so that... When the hood is down, see it, it aligns right up with the grill, that mesh work. So it'll blow right through that without any of the exhaust being trapped under the hood. All right, now let me take you around the other side and show you what I, what else I did this past weekend. All right, so I wired up the kill switch. I put the wire inside of a rubber hose and zip tied it in in a few places. And it comes around here and it just attaches to can you see that no you're looking at the floor come on up here with me it attaches to the original connection there I just spliced into the wires grounded it right to that bolt that holds the grill in uh, it does work too I tested it <laughs> shut the key off and there's no spark all right the other thing that I did was put a temporary tank on it uh, I have the original tank from this tractor it just needs to be cleaned out and coated on the inside so I didn't want to make anything permanent for here because I do have that tank that I'm gonna fix so this is a, another snowblower part this came off a snowblower and I just used some stiff wire through some holes and around some bolts and locked it in and it's pretty stout all right what else do we have Oh, the little lights. <laughs> See those two wires running through the grill? I got super lucky, and there was six holes in that grill, and they worked for me for putting a couple of little orange LED lights on the front. They're not bright ones, but it'll make it look like it has eyes when it's running. Because this engine has the a charging system in it, and it had a set of lights on that snowblower it came off of. So I just tied into that ran my wiring and it's up to the lights let's drop this hood down so I can show you those I hope that charging system works I want to see those lit up so it's just gonna be a couple of little orange eyes up in the front 
All right, well, oh, closing down fully. Huh? What else did we do? I think that's about it. I think it's ready to ride. I put gas in the tank last night. So the carburetor should be good and full by now. So I guess the last thing to do is see if it'll run on its own without squirting anything in the carburetor. Like I said, this engine was stored properly. Uh, before they stored it, they ran it dry. And it was stored without any gas in it. So hopefully I don't have to rebuild the carburetor. All right, I think I'm ready to try and start this. Now, as you can see, see on the floor down there? It's like an old dog. <laughs> it's marking its territory. Well, we'll have to do some seals on it. All right, I think it's about ready to try and give it a start. So I'm going to set you in the pod over here and see what we can do. All right, so if this thing starts up, I don't want to have it running for very long. So if it starts up, I'm going to see if it moves forward, see if it moves back, and then I'm going to shut it off because I don't have the doors open. I do have a fan blowing in the window, blowing out. So let's see what it does. What do you think? Choke on or off? Let's put that choke on. Put this in neutral. Make sure there's no wires or anything in the way. Let's give that a pull, shall we? How about throttle up? Throttle's up. bit of surging and a little bit of sputtering but it seemed to run pretty sound and it moved forward and back I can't resist let's start it up again I want to see if it'll do a whole shot <laughs> all right we're gonna make some noise I'm going to dump the clutch in third gear. Hopefully I don't crash into the cabinet up there. <laughs> Boys and girls, don't try this at home. Posi tracks in the garage. <laughs> Alright, so I think it's about time to take this thing out and test it. I'm gonna go and <laughs> hunt down my wife and see if I can convince her to go in the backyard and play with me. Uh, I'm gonna give her the option of going first, so she might be more inclined to help me out. Uh, she likes to play on the track this too, so. Let's see if we can get her to join in and we'll go have some fun in the backyard and see what this thing can do.
I think it did pretty good. <laughs> it was doing some good wheelies. The clutch worked good. Uh, the engine ran fantastic. Everything held together, except at the very end. At the very end, when I was shifting gears, the shifter snapped right off in my hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to remake a shifter for this. Uh, it's not really that hard to do, so I might show you when I do that. Uh, other than that, this thing did awesome. I uh, climbing through. I was a little afraid to go through the mud puddle because that would have meant I would have had to wash the tractor before bringing it back in here. I would have had to change my clothes because I would have got covered with mud. So I decided to just climb around a little back there, but it was fun. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please remember that like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.